Hey there, so in this video we are just going to take a quick look at how we can take a design that we've created in Tinkercad and download it so that it can be eventually 3D printed. Now in another video I'm going to kind of give you some insight into uh, what type of things uh, happen when we take something like this and prepare it for a 3D printer. But in this one I just want to focus in on how we actually get it from Tinkercad to something that a, an application for a 3D printer can understand. Okay, So the first thing we're going to do here is just take an ordinary object. This is something that I created in another video. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually export this. All right, So up at the right hand side of your screen you do have this export option and if you hover over it it tells you to download and 3d print right so that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to take a look at this particular window here so there's two tabs up at the top one is download and one is 3d print we're going to be downloading this even though I you may be thinking oh we're going to immediately 3d print this well you might actually be in a situation where you could immediately 3d print this if you click that basically what it you're going to be able to do is to select a printer maybe you have a maker bot and then um, maybe you can send that over to MakerBot in order to uh, add it to your account to be 3D printed. You might use a service to do that. You might have it hooked up to your own printer. Uh, we're not actually going to be looking at it from that perspective. So let's go back here to export. We're going to be downloading the file, um, assuming that there's going to be another computer that you're using or maybe even your own computer uh, that has an application on it that uh, you will load this into and then eventually uh, turn it over to your 3D printer. Okay, So we're going to download and at the top what you typically see here is um, an option to include either everything in the design or the selected shapes. Okay, So you can see the selected shapes for me is grayed out and that's because I only have one object in my uh, workspace. So by default it's just saying hey everything in the design. But if for some reason I had multiple things going on here in my workspace and I'll just show you. Let's say I was just creating something over here and I had these two designs that um, were on my workspace but I only wanted to print one of them. If I hadn't selected anything and I went to export you would see it said everything in the design. But if I do select something here, right, and I click export, now I have this other option. And basically it's saying, oh, do you want to only export the selected shape? And you can see that is now selected by default. Or I could still go up here and choose everything in the design. Typically we're going to use just one object in there, but there could be situations where you've designed multiple things that we can pull um, into our application that we'll use to 3D print. Uh, you may need all of those things so you could just choose everything. Uh, you may want to discuss that with whomever is actually preparing your objects for the 3D printer. I'm just going to delete that now and go back to export and then download and then let's take a look at the next option. And this is for the type of file you would like to create from this. Now typically for most of our 3D printing needs we are going to choose the .stl. All right, we're not going to get into what that stands for, what the other two are, but for our purposes it suffice to say that we're going to select a .stl. That's the type of file that we would like to bring into our application for 3D printing. All right. Down here you can also see that there's an option for laser cutting. Uh, so if you have a laser engraver, uh, you could potentially choose that. But we're going to use for 3D printing the STL. And once we select that, what's going to happen is we are going to have the ability to uh, download that file to our machine. And you will see here that the file name is uh, the same name as my project. Okay, So the same name that I created up here for my project is going to be given to the download. Now you can certainly change that and I would recommend you do that if you never changed the name of your project. But you'll also see that it is of .stl. You also see right here it's save as type and if you want to go ahead and try and pronounce that 
Uh, that is the actual type of file. That's what STL stands for. Uh, but again, we're not going to get into what that actually means. So, but uh, suffice to say, that's the type of file that we want. And once you have that in the area that you uh, have selected, or um, perhaps your browser is just going to immediately download it to your downloads folder, you can go find that and um, use it for your application that you're going to uh, prepare the 3D print with. Okay, so I'm just going to save that and then we're done. Uh, if for some reason you need to make changes, you can certainly go ahead and make changes. And then if you need to re-export it, you can go ahead and do that. All right, hope that helps.